right, what's going on, everybody? We got us a little problem here to work. Uh, we want to integrate x sine squared x cosine x dx. All right, so how in the world do we go about integrating this thing? Well, typically, when we do integration by parts, we have two terms. That's what you see most of the time. But in this one, you can see we have the x, the sine squared, and the cosine. So when you, when you look at this, parts may not enter your mind when you're thinking about working this one. But if you look at this, we can integrate this part. All right. So what I would do is I would let u equal x and db equal sine squared x cosine x dx. All right, and then when we go to uh, integrate this, that's just a, that's a u substitution there. See, we can, and instead of using u, since I used a u here, I'll use w. So we'll let w equal sine x, and then dw equals cosine x dx. All right. So to integrate that, we would let's just come over here to the side and do it. So I'll make my substitution. So I get w squared, and then in the place of cosine x dx, I'm going to put dw. And so this is going to be one-third w cubed. All right. And so this is one-third sine cubed x. And so I get v is equal to one-third sine cubed x. And then here I get du equals dx. All right, so that is going to give me x times one-third sine cubed x. So that's going to be one-third x sine cubed x minus, and then I'm going to do one-third integral sine cubed x dx. All right, I just brought the one-third outside the integral symbol. So remember, parts, that's u times v is right here minus du times v. All right. And now we can integrate this thing. Okay, so think back when you did trigonometric integrals. That's going to be one-third x sine cubed x minus one-third. Now, I've got sine cubed. The exponent of sine is odd. So I'm going to save a factor of sine. All right. And then we'll rewrite sine squared as what? 1 minus cosine squared. sine x dx all right and so now I can do another u substitution well I guess since I used u up here and I used w over here I'm just going to use y so y is equal to cosine x so I'm, I'm doing a u substitution I'm just not using u because I used the U, a U here and I used a W here, so just pick a different letter. It's the same thing as U substitution. And so I get dy is equal to negative sine x dx. And you can see there's my sine x dx. See that? Sine x dx. So I'm going to replace that with dy. And then in the place of 
cosine, I'm going to put y. All right, but before I do that, notice the difference. See here, I've got a negative. I don't have a negative here. So I'm going to have to multiply by negative. So that means I have to come out here. And since I multiplied by negative 1, I'm going to come out here and multiply by 1 over negative negative 1 multiplied by the reciprocal. And so this is going to give me 1 third x sine cubed x. And then the negative and negative make it a positive one-third integral, one minus y squared dy. All right, and now I can integrate this thing. So that's going to be one-third, let me write that three better, one-third x sine cubed x plus one-third times What's that? Y minus one third Y cubed plus C. And then that's going to give me one third, having a little trouble making my threes today, X sine cubed X plus one third. Now we got to substitute back in because our problem is in terms of x. And so here I have y is cosine x. So in the place of y, I've got cosine x minus one third. And in the place of y, I'm going to put cosine. So that's cosine cubed x plus c. And so that's going to give me one third, whoop, one third x sine cubed x plus one-third cosine x. I'm just distributing the one-third minus one-ninth cosine cubed x plus c. And there's my answer. All right, so I'll I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, uh, you know, just a, an integral that's a little more difficult than what you normally come across. Uh, so hopefully this helps, and hopefully it'll help you work other types of problems. Uh, you know, just a different way to go about looking at things, you know, to you know get more, more things in your mind as you're doing integrals. So, so maybe you'll see more things. So I hope this helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.